Even if you don't want to see that person, you have to in the live <laughs> Hey sailors, welcome back to Cruising as Crew. My name is Lucy and I am here with the wonderful Christine, my good friend Christine, who has agreed to do this interview, which I'm so happy about. Um, and I'm going to be interviewing her about her job. So, Christine, what do you do? Let them hear, she'll <laughs> <love you. laughs> Go on holiday. Relax, yeah. <laughs> yeah, but what's your job title? Okay, is hotel utility. We have a um, in hotel utility. We have a rotation. We have do four months in sanitation and four months in housekeeping. In this moment, okay. I am in one of the galley. Okay. We have a lot of restaurant on board. Uh -huh. So I am in the galley of Pink and David. We have to pre-wash all the plates, the silvers, and um, the glasses. We have to have all in them on time because the server they start um, the setup in the restaurant six p.m. So you have to make sure everything is washed, clean, so the servers nice and sexy. So clean, nice and sexy, so yes. the servers can come in and set everything up, and the shit. So it's a really a huge team yeah. effort. Then, like if you don't you do your bit, the servers can't do their bit, the chefs can't do their bit, and you don't get your food. So okay, that's really interesting. So you said you do a little bit in housekeeping and a little bit in, in sanitation. In sanitation, yes. So. Have you you've done your housekeeping? Not yet. Now Not yet. I am in okay. sanitation. I have the rotation in September. When I go to housekeeping, we have to clean all the um, um, public area. We have to make um, sure they all are nice and sexy. All <laughs> yes. <laughs> the bathrooms, the gyms, all right. the public area that sailors have to go around. Okay. Oh yeah. So I remember. So that's actually when I met Christine on Scarlet because she was. Um, in the housekeeping department so she was cleaning the public areas so when i was working in mac christine would always come and wipe Sweet down the windows and... and look at the lipsticks <laughs> and yeah that's how we met um okay and how often does that change four months every sorry you've said that yeah months. every four months okay yeah. and then what are you hoping to progress into like do you want to stay in this role or do you want a promotion or do you want a different job? Like, yeah, how does I, it work? I want a different job, uh, maybe something like payroll because in land that is my experience. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, okay. I used to work in a bank. Oh, I like bar. Bar, it's very you could be a server. Funny. Yeah, server. Okay, amazing. Is there a natural progression from the job you're in now? Yeah. What is it? Housekeeper or? Housekeeper. Housekeeping. Yeah. After looking after the rooms. Okay. So that would be the natural progression. Yeah. Um, and if someone wanted to apply for your job, would they go on the Virgin Voyages website? Is it on there? Or did you go through an agency? We have an agency. Okay. In our country, we apply with an agency. Where, and where are you from? Honduras. 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 Lovely. Yeah. And um, in the agency, they ask you for a little bit of experience in a hotel or restaurant. Okay. That's it. And then you have to have all your documents, your certification, your seaman book, and your passport. That's it. Okay. Brilliant. Yeah. For apply. To apply, and but I know that some people they apply in the website and then the company called them and made an interview, like in Skype, something like that. But yeah. in our country, we do it uh, through an agency. agency. Okay, so what is the agency called? Sutramar. Sutramar. Yes, Sutramar HN. Were they good? Yeah, amazing. Yeah, they never going to ask you for pay something. No, never. Yeah. Never. Okay, I do a lot of stuff on scams because there's so many people that get scammed when they want to apply for cruise ships. So you heard it from someone else now. An agency is never going to ask, ask you to pay, something. to pay something like never. So did they pay for your medical or did you pay for that yourself when you went to get it? I paid for my medical. That's the only thing that I pay and for my visa. But when I come on board, the company made me the reimbursement. Ah, the reimbursement. Okay. Yeah. But so although Christine had to pay for stuff up front, like she didn't send the money to the agency. No. She gave the money directly to the medical center and directly to the visa yeah. thing. Um, anyway, that's a bit off topic. So now I want to talk about hours because you work a lot. Yeah, we work 10 hours. 10 hours a day? A day. And, and how long is your contract? 8 months. 8 months. 10 hours a day. 
for eight months. Yeah. And we have two hours break. It depends on your schedule. Um, now I am 10 to 10, 10 a.m. Mm -hmm. to 10 p.m. So I have one break, one to do, yeah. and then seven to eight. Seven to eight. And that's it. And that's it. Yes. Okay. And would you say the job is stressful? Sometimes for us, it's, oh my God, a lot of sand, a lot of plates, a lot of glasses. So we have the time that the job is very relaxed. Yeah. But you have your friends. I call my co-worker friends because you are friends with them. Yeah. And you work and you are talking and you're making jobs. Jokes, sorry. Yeah, so yeah. your job is more fun. Yeah. They make you your yeah. job be like easy. So I guess that's the good bit about being in the sanitation department is because you're not sailor facing. You can just have yeah. banter while you're doing the job. Mm, yeah. That's nice. They talk a little bit and have yeah. a little bit fun. Okay, well that's good. That's needed because yeah, as so you can get the stress. Yeah, and it makes your day go faster. Yeah. So obviously this ship is going to some really nice places. Mm -hmm. Do you get to see them because you're working so much? Oh, it depends the schedule. If we are night shift, you can request be night shift so we can go outside. But when you have the schedule 6 a.m., you are at morning shift 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. If the ship go um, late from the port, maybe you can go outside. The ship go 10, 12, 6, you are up, you can go and enjoy. Okay. But if you are morning shift, it's very difficult to go outside. Mm -hmm. It's not possible yeah. for this schedule. So we have an overnight in Ibiza every week. So because yeah. you finish at 10, yeah. does that mean that you can go out after of work? Yes. yes. Okay, so this is, that's nice. At least you get yeah. to just have fun, relax, an evening and yeah. yeah. A walk, yeah, that's good. That's good. So, after you had a successful interview with your agency, how long did you wait to get on board? For me, it was very fast. Ah, very okay. fast. I made my interviews one Monday and I was flying one Sunday to UK. It was very exciting. I was very happy. I was like, ah, really? Oh, wow. Yeah, it was very fast because I know a lot of persons that they made their interviews and Wait. all three months yeah the company sent them wow. their ticket but for me it was very fast oh the God. company in this moment need the people wow so i and was very lucky yeah that's that's crazy so did you already have your medicals and all, all no not the medical but i have all my documents so when i made the interviews this person told me okay why do you think if i told you that you have to fly it someday and i was like really someday yes you need to rush and I, wow. that day I went to make my medicals. Oh my God, and yeah. Sunday you were on a plane? I was in the plane, flying wow. to UK. Wow, yeah, crazy, 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 crazy. Obviously we have embarkation day, a port day, and a sea day, but does that make any difference to your... In our job, sea day. Sea day is busy. Sea day is very busy. Ah, yeah, I guess, because all the crew or all the guests are on board, so there's more plates because everyone's eating yeah, on board. It's, okay. it's a crazy day. We have to make sure that all the galleys are sanitizer. For the is that before? Is that before like pH comes? I mean, obviously you have to clean every day, but I know that you have to clean a lot more if public health are coming. Yeah, is uh, we have this uh, public health on board and they are checking around and we have to take care of them that they have to be clean. One, they, that is yeah. one part of, of my job. And um, the rest is that all the stuff, they, they are in the galley, in the mm -hmm. clean area, they have to be clean. They don't have to have mm -hmm. nothing, 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 nothing. So it's a busy day because we pre-wash for all the stuff that, yeah. that the, the uh, servers bring to, to the dishwash. And we have to spray them first that we have to pre-wash and then we have to put it inside the machine. And if we have a lot, we have to take care of the clean area, the dirty area, and the galleys with all the system of the bucket. So it's very BCC day. And how many people are in your team? Okay, and the galley that I am, we are three. Three? Yes. Three people. Three people. Because the galley is not too big, but we have a lot of, uh, of material there. I we thought you three. were going to say at least six. No. We are three only. Three. Shit. Yes. <laughs>
<laughs> wow, that's that's mad for all of that stuff. Yeah. Okay, what is your favorite thing and your least favorite thing about working on a cruise ship? No, a lot of uh, countries uh, okay. you can uh, um, meet a lot of nice people. Example, mm -hmm. you different nationality. Yeah. I think that and. The thing that I don't like is when you go to vacation, you know, yeah. it's very, <laughs> yeah. you leave your friends, yeah. you make friends, you have to, because you are with that person all the time, eight months. Um, even if you don't want to see that person, you have to in the <laughs> like, So um, you make good friends. And yeah. when you have to say goodbye, it's like, oh my God. And you don't know if you're going to see that person because you don't choose the the, the like, ship yeah. that you have to come back. So sometimes um, they send that person to another ship and you have to be in another ship. Or that person can't come back because she has something happening in her country. Yeah. So that's the most um, horrible thing about working in ship because you... It's the goodbyes. Yeah, the yeah. goodbye. Yeah, because I guess unlike when you leave your home country, you're like, oh, I'll see you all when I get home. You'll yeah. still be here. It's yeah. fine. Um, but yeah, you obviously meet people on board who are from all across the world. So it's like, well, I'm probably never going to see you again. So see you. have a nice life. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And it's just weird because I think on ships, a lot of people experience it for the first time. Like a goodbye really is a goodbye. Yeah. Like I'm not going to see you again, most likely, which is really shit. Yeah. The relationship, like. the relationship. <laughs> <laughs> and to anyone wanting to work on a cruise ship, what advice would you give them? First of all, never, never, never pay money. Ah, uh, yeah, okay. To someone because I think if in my country I have an agency for sure. Yeah. In any country, they yeah. have to. Oh yeah, every. And you can apply in, in the website. Yeah. Many people yeah. do it uh, like that. And important thing. For us, I'm a Latina, if you can hear my accent. Spicy <laughs> Latina. Yes, I'm a Latina. So you need to study English. Yeah. If you want to come on board, you have to know English. Um, I have a, a friend, she cannot speak English, she's in Honduras. Yeah. And somebody told her that if she paid that person uh, $1,000, she can come on board. That that's a lot of money. Yeah, that's a lot of money, but that is not true. You have to know English because when you come on board, all the process, even the interview, are in English. Everything's in English. Yeah. And you're good at, look, your English is always going to improve when you get on board because you're surrounded by it all the time but you do need to have a basic understanding because adjusting to ship life is difficult but how like if you can't understand the language it's just, just going to be made 10 times harder um and yeah Horrible. if anyone says pay a thousand dollars and i'll get you on board it's a scam it's a scam don't do it please don't do it <laughs> Oh, she didn't do it, did she? No, 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 okay, she good. didn't do it. And and another thing, example, if you want to come on board, if you want to get a, a, a better position, because this nobody told me. Yeah. Um, You can work in a restaurant or, or even you can go and talk to the bar and tell them that you want to get experience, leave you work there, even if they don't have to pay you, yeah. you know, the salary that they pay to, to a bartender and get the experience. And then you can apply. Maybe um, the um, ship not going to give you a, a word like a bar server, yeah. but you can be a bar steeper, you can be... Uh, yeah. You can come in an entry yeah, level position. Yeah, in another position. Yeah. They can be more easy to you to get that position that, that you want. So perfect yeah because once you're like any company once you're in it's so much easier to work your way up or get a different job but i think that's everything christine thank you so much Ooh. Ooh. well thank you so much guys for watching if you have any questions that we haven't answered and you want an answer to please ask me in the comments i will ask christine and get back to you um, but yeah thank you so much i really you're appreciate welcome. you taking the time to do this and as always, guys, I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Bye.